Robert Wadlow, who stood at an astounding 8 feet 11.1 inches, 2.72 meters tall, photographed outside his home with his mother Addie Mae Wadlow and brother Harold in 1935. In 1944, a clandestine gathering of people in Clever Park, Harlem, the Netherlands, intently listening to a radio broadcast in secrecy. In 1983, police conducted a raid on the Scientology headquarters in Toronto, confiscating approximately 250,000 documents stored in over 900 boxes. Margaret Bork White, a renowned Life magazine photographer, readies herself to capture a photograph from one of the eagles perched on the 61st floor of the Chrysler Building in New York City in 1934. English actress Jane Birkin savouring a sun-soaked holiday. Jamaican immigrants, among the first to arrive in the UK via the Empire Windrush, photographed at the port of Tilbury near London on June 22, 1948, shortly after disembarking the vessel. U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Canadian Prime Minister Mackenzie King and U.K. Prime Minister Winston Churchill, meeting at the Quebec Conference on August 24, 1943. A young boy sits amidst the remnants of a bookshop destroyed during an air raid in London, United Kingdom in 1940, engrossed in reading. U.S. Air Force test pilot Major Gerald R. Gentry, posing in front of the Northrop HL-10 lifting body aircraft at the NASA Dryden Flight Research Center, Edwards Air Force Base, California, in 1968. Sophia Loren elegantly dons a strapless floral print dress as she poses in the sand in 1967. The Italian actress was captured during the filming of A Countess from Hong Kong in this photograph. The inauguration ceremony of the 1958 Brussels World's Fair on April 17, 1958, featured a procession of the police horse guards as a notable highlight. Three young breaker boys posing for a photograph outside the Woodward Coal Mines in Kingston, Pennsylvania, around 1900. Breaker boys were employed in the coal mining industry to remove impurities from coal. Brigitte Bardot astride a Harley-Davidson captured in Paris in 1967. A Korean sailor, seen smoking from a lengthy bamboo pipe, Photographed by Willard D. Strait in 1904. The multi-talented actress, singer, model and activist Dyer Han Carroll in London. A group of well-dressed children, likely prepared to attend church, standing on Karpfangerstrasse, a street in Hamburg, Germany. This photograph dates back to around... 1904. A Japanese samurai, donned in complete armor and striking a combat pose, captured in a photograph by Felice Beato, circa 1860s. Brigitte Bardot flashes a mischievous smile as she sunbathes topless on a beach in 1960. As part of Project Alberta, Commander A. Francis Birch, left, assembles the bomb, with physicist Norman Ramsey observing on Tinian in the Northern Mariana Islands, United States, on July 31, 1945. An Algerian immigrant arriving in the United States through the Ellis Island Immigration Center in New York Harbor, circa 1906. Citizens of Antwerp, Belgium, 
joyfully spilling onto the streets a few hours after the announcement of the armistice, celebrating the end of the First World War. This historic photograph was taken on November 11th, 1918. An Austro-Hungarian prisoner of war, photographed following his capture by the British Army on the Italian front in 1918. Crew members of the B-24 Liberator Kansas Cyclone unwind as they enjoy canned grapefruit juice after a bombing mission over Wake Island on April 30th, 1944. Elizabeth Taylor's turquoise swimsuit perfectly complemented the water behind her in the 1953 film The Girl Who Had Everything. An elderly man poses proudly with an automobile equipped with tyre chains in 1913. An image captured by August Sander in Germany around 1930 featuring a blind miner and a blind soldier. This photograph is believed to have been taken in the courtyard of a facility for the blind. A group photograph of Allied government and military leaders from Canada, the United States, and the United Kingdom during the first Quebec conference, codenamed Quadrant, held on August 18th, 1943. German prisoners of war and French soldiers posing with their gas masks on in Chemin des Dames de France in 1917. Joseph Stalin and Harry S. Truman sharing smiles during the Potsdam Conference in Potsdam, Germany in 1945. Private L.C. Bird, hailing from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, captured while manning a .50 caliber machine gun on an M4 Sherman tank of the 761st Tank Battalion near Nancy, France, on November 5, 1944. Queen Marie Jose of Italy, who was the Crown Princess at the time, photographed having lunch with Adolf Hitler in 1938. Steel workers patiently waiting for a bus in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, as photographed by Jack Delano in January 1941. The Eiffel Tower during the period of Nazi occupation in 1940. That was all for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed. Until next time, safe travels.